I've left a collar chuck. I'm going to make in my four jaw chuck. I need a four jaw chuck for a large job, so I'm going to have to mount a chuck, cut the threads so I can use the chuck. I purposely didn't take the jaw of the chuck to make sure I could just put it straight back on and it will be lined up nice and true. Quite a heavy, heavy lump when it's got that big bit of bar in it. So that should be running nice and true still, which it appears to be. And now we need to cut the 6 TPI thread on here. But first this needs machining down to size. The taper has been cut. And the recess has been cut inside the taper. We need to replicate that. Put those threads on the end of there. First thing to do will be to turn it down to the outside down of the threads, which is 94.5mm. I'll measure it again just to make sure, but I did write the size down. Yep, 94.5. I need 12mm taken off that. When I cut the threads on this part, the job actually moving the chuck. I did have a, a smaller chuck, but just to make sure that this can't move. I'm going to put a centre into it, which is basically the dummy mandrel I made to cut the taper against. Just put a little bit of weight on that, and that's got to keep it. Got to keep it square. I've got to stop it. That'll help stop it from moving. A mill, so I'll slow the feed rate down a fair bit, a bit better finish on it. Right, that's down to size now, and we need 16 mm thread on, so I'll just use it to read out the measure 16. That's 16 there. So from here that damn that is turned down to 88 mil. Okay, that's down to size. I'm just going to tidy up that radius there and put a little sham from that side there just for the thread cutting tool to run into and out of.
Right, we're now ready to start cutting some, some threads on here. This is what I call the dirty end of the lathe, where the change wheels live. I've showed it before. This being an imperial lathe, we need to put a compound gear thread in to allow it to cut the imperial thread. That's the conversion gear, that's the gear I made, that's a 63 tooth gear. I've got a chart and it tells me I need a 50, driving a 63, which is coupled to an 80. they join together that's our conversion ratio and that one there drives on to a 120 on the bottom right so it's that one drives that one, connected to that one, which is such a your gear ratio, the conversion from the metric to the imperial, and that drives that 120. I'll set them all up, put some oil on, and then check it. When you're setting these gears up, you've got to set them up with a certain amount of backlash, otherwise they bend and make horrible noises. And I've got those two meshing together nicely, bring that one up. Got some nice old work while spanners I used to use as an apprentice. I've still got them and they fit this quite nicely. Right, so that's a gear chain assembled with some backlash in it. I normally use motorcycle chain oil for this, but I haven't got any, so some nice thick gear oil will do. A little bit, it's bending slightly, it's slightly tight on the top gear. So you need you need backlash in them they rattle and clatter about but the that's better bastard that's good That's the stroke cutting tool we made earlier. I've got it set dead on centre height. I've got the compound slide set at 30 degrees, well 29 degrees, which is half of the 60 degree thread. What I need to do now is make sure the tool is in line with the job that way, square to the job. I've shown this before. Here's what's called a fish tail. Probably because it looks a little bit like a fish's tail. That goes into that slot. I'll bring the camera in so you can see that. Right, so the, the tool is a perfect fit in there and that's square against the job. So that means that that tool is going to be at the correct angle, which is 90 degrees to the job. The cut's going to be put on that way with a compound slide, so it's only going to be cutting on the front edge of the tool. With the lathe being metric and the thread being imperial I'm not going to disengage the feed nuts once I start to cut the thread I'll just disengage the clutch on the lathe reverse the motor and run it back out I'll mark this up with blue and take a real light scrapey cut just to make sure we're all cutting the right thread 
He had arrows to measure twice and cut once. I always enjoy doing this, I think it's a fantastic colour. I think you call that colour. Right, we're all set to take a real fine cut. We'll start the lathe. Beach goes engaged. It's a bit deeper than intended, but it's certainly taking a cut. Right, we'll measure that. Certainly mark the basket. Absolutely perfect. I bring the camera in so you can see a little bit better. It's a 6 TPI gauge, which is, as you can see, a perfect fit. So the procedure is turn out the cross side wall turn, reverse the lathe motor. Put it back into the forward, wind the cross side back in again to zero, and a little bit of cut on the compound slide, start it up, and it should start to cut the thread again. I put a little bit of cut oil on there, Having the clutch on the lathe makes this quite easy. Without the clutch, it's not so easy. There is a method of using the thread there in the kit to cut this thread, but being it's not such a short thread, I'm just going to carry on this way. The idea of this tool is, if the, or the holder is, if the tool digs in, this actually bends, it flexes here, which means the tool comes out of engagement a little bit. I'll take a shot at this and you might actually see the tool flex. It's a really old fashioned idea, I've seen these things actually massive big, big tool holders made exactly the same as this. Got the doctor procedure and do things exactly the same way every time. One mistake and it's a, a double star thread.
bit, so I'm going to leave it for another bit now and I've left it ready to take a cut. Everything's still engaged. It's ready for the next cut. Once again, it just remains to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for clicking the like button, and as always, a massive thanks for all the well wishes that are coming in towards me wife and me dad. It does make a big difference. Thanks very much. All a massive thanks to David for the new hat. I've always wanted one of these, now I've got one. Thanks very much.